guys, Malicious Unicorn here. Now you may be wondering, where are we? This doesn't look familiar. That is because there is the second part of the Star Stable birthday update out, and it just happens to be the update of Steve's farm. So, I'm excited to see this. Apparently it's in the same art style that the new Silver Glade Village is in, and it already, it looks so lush and beautiful and green. I love that about the new Star Stable art style, about how lush and green they make everything. It's really beautiful and amazing. They've moved the horses and given it more of a kind of market type atmosphere sort of thing. What's this? Oh, that you can get the main styles here. Oh, I didn't even know this. This is the Yorvik Wild. I forgot. So you can do all the cool Yorvik Wild styles on it. Nice. I actually really like how this one looks on it. I actually really like that. I think I'm going to get it. <laughs> I'm just over here. Like, talking about Steve's farm, then randomly I'm just like, Oh, this hairstyle looks amazing on my horse, I'm gonna buy it. <laughs> okay. So we have a whole new paddock. Ow. We have a whole new paddock over here. With all these horses in it right now that people are doing stuff with and things. So we have a barn. What do you oh! Oh wait, was there always a stable at Sea's Farm? There was always a stable at Sea's Farm, wasn't there? They're updating so much of the landscape of Star Stable, but I really, really hope that someday soon we will be uh, given an updated stable because that has not happened yet and I think it would be super cool if we got a stable update. So there's this ramp up here, and where does this lead? This, oh. There's two ways to enter into your home state. Ew. So you can go up this ramp, or you can go in the front way. Ow. Oh, look at how cute the little windmill and everything. What's this over here, this little rickety tower? Oh, they completely updated the mill. They updated Barney's mill. Whoa. It's completely different. Wow, that's cool. I am so excited to see what they do with the rest of the Star Stable world because I'm absolutely sure they're gonna be updating the rest of it. Whoa, this paddock was not here before. This is like an outdoor arena. It's awesome, you can do like dressage with a club here or whatever, that's so cool. Ah, get me out of here, ow. So, what else is there to see at the new update to Sea Farm? A bunch of new paddocks. Wow, there's like a whole forest and scenery and lots of cool stuff. Whoop. It's a cute little area for like all the NPC horses to hang out at. You can get food. They move to the stable area with all the horses over here. Whoa, what's that going through the wall there? Whoa, there's a pole going through the wall. That's not good. This new sound track is pretty cool too. Hello, farm worker person. Ah. Okay, so it said there was going to be special things for you to do at the birthday celebration at Steve's farm, but I don't see anything special. I just see the normal stores and all of that jazz, so I don't see what else we're, we can do here. Oh, so I did not realize this, but in the free gift section, I may have to get out of my mailbox. Hold on. Where's the mailbox? Should be over by the stable. Oh, I have hair in my mouth. Come on. Yep, hair. Okay. Uh, yep. Got this. I'm gonna have to delete all the leftover stuff in my inventory. Okay, so. Not only do we get one free pet. And a horse. And a matching horse for this. Or, I suppose, the horse and the pets are matching. We also get two 
free pets. So we got this little cat here with the heart on his forehead. But also, if you go in the free gift section, when you're logging into Star Stable, you can also get... Where is it? No. Why doesn't it show... Why don't my pets show up? Where? Oh, is this it? It's not showing up. There is also a bunny. Look at how cute. Hold on. I need to show you guys this. Cause look. look. Look at how cute it is. I love the bunny animations that it like cleans its face. Oh my gosh. My sister has a bunny and this is exactly like a, what they, how they look and what they do. It's so cute. I love it. So yeah, this is just the most adorable thing ever. There's two pets now. You have the cat and you have the bunny. So that's pretty cool. And then also, um, you have this nice jacket that you get as well. I'm guessing they're going to release a whole set to go with the jacket. So we're going to get a whole set of clothes, I think. And what else is there else is to see? What did I just say? What else is there to see? I think my brain just absolutely died. There was something else. Oh, Golden Horseshoe Quest. So. Oh, and the trailer. Okay. I My brain is completely frazzled today, guys. I can't even remember what I wanted to show you guys with the update. Um, okay, so. As you guys can see, if you go down, there's both a Steve's Farm trailer and a Silverglade Village trailer. So they're both separate now. And I love that so much because it's so annoying for me to be like, okay, I need to go to, I need to go to Silverlay Village, and to be like thinking about it, and then be like, hold on, wait, why is it, where's the Silverglade Village? And then I'm like, oh wait, it's not called Silverglade Village, it's called Steve Swarm. Um, I guess that's kind of just a weird thing that I do, but it has other pros as well, having the separate trailers. So why don't you go to Moreland? Somewhat more than stables. Okay. So, apparently, I completely missed this quest last video. Um, there's a golden horseshoe quest that's more than just getting items. Apparently, there's an actual set of tack and clothing items you can get from it and i did not know this so yep right here there's a quest and i did not even notice star stable turns one year older time for a celebration have it a treasure hunt golden horseshoes have been placed all over your for you to collect you can trade five golden horseshoes for a gift there's a lot of gifts so just keep looking believe me you'll definitely want these gifts i would the Golden Horseshoes can be found in and around Moreland, Silverglade, Fort Pinta, Vale Dill, and Furgrove. If you can't find any more in one area, look in the next. I've hidden so many Golden Horseshoes that there's more than enough. Okay. So now, the Golden Horseshoes should show up, because last time, I was wondering where they were. And I was like, why can't I find any Golden Horseshoes? But apparently now they'll show up for this quest. So let's just start in Moreland. I'm going to gather 10 so I can get two of the gifts and kind of just show you guys what you can get with this quest. Because apparently it's like a, a super cool clothing set and stuff. Okay. Don't see any yet. Usually the golden horses are pretty easy to find. They're not super tricky. Oh, what was that? Oh, sparkle right there. Huh? See it? Okay, I found a golden horseshoe. I will see you guys after I finish collecting ten golden horseshoes. Okay, guys. As you can see, I have ten golden horseshoes, and we are gonna go trade them in to get our two items um and i did remember something else so if you've been on star stable for a long time you probably do go to steve's farm to do steve's race 
and it's probably one of your main staples to get a ton of XP when you're training your horses. Um, they have updated it, and it's completely different than it used to be. So if you've memorized it, unfortunately, you're going to have to do that all over again. Okay, got a saddle. And I got a saddle pad. Okay. <gasps> Ooh! I love this! <gasps> the ombre is so pretty! I love it. I love it. Okay, I would definitely recommend going on the Golden Horseshoe Hunt to get the Pandoric set because it is beautiful. I don't even have all of it, and I love it. Alright, let's go check out Steve's race. Okay, so, down here, Steve's farm, shillings, let's go. Okay, so, where's Steve at now? No. Oh, here he is, hello. Hi, Steve. Want to try your new race? Okay. Yes. Let's go. Still definitely racing around the farm. It's just there's a lot more new decorations and scenery. Oh, I can't pick up the golden horseshoe while I'm racing. Whoa. This is definitely like kind of the same route. Just different. I don't know why I said that weird road. Definitely different. Ooh. Oh, this part's different. This part's definitely... I don't know if it still has the same shortcuts. Whoa! I don't remember that whole precipice area. I think that's new. Yeah, this is definitely a lot different. Look at this whole, like, mountainside area that we race through now. Oh, what did I just run into? There's nothing there. What am I running into? Hello, NPC Lusitanos. Woo! That was almost bad. Oh, now we race through like Silverglade Village and everything too. Like the outskirts of it. Alright, let's go collect our XP. Alright, well guys. This video was a little short, and I am sorry about that. However, next week we will be getting six brand, or not brand new, six old horses that are coming back. I have a feeling I know what they are, but I want you guys to guess in the comments down below. So leave a reply on what you think the new horses that are coming next week are going to be. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!